inserting a probe in Mars in their first attempt to sending 104 satellites in a single rocket. The Indian Space Research Organization ISRO is quickly becoming a global player in the space scene. With a late start compared to other space agencies like NASA or ESA, who have budgets of billions of dollars, ISRO has successfully completed interplanetary missions at a fraction of the price. The next mission of ISRO is the ambitious Gaganyaan mission, which will be India's first manned space venture. Raghi Sharma is the first Indian to travel to space. He was part of the Soyuz T-11 mission, which was a collaboration between ISRO and the Soviet space program all the way back in 1984. Since then, there have been plans for further manned missions from India itself. One such mission began in 2006, but the project never passed the initial planning stages due to low funding. However, ISRO's stupendous success in space over the past decade has led to a renewed interest in a manned mission. In fact, this goal was confirmed by India's Prime Minister as one of his commitments since being in power has been to send Indians to space again by 2022. That too, independently from any space agency. So, how are they going to do it? The initial plan is that ISRO's pride and joy, the GSLV Mark III launch vehicle, will take the Gaganyaan spacecraft into a low Earth orbit at 400 km altitude for 7 days. The spacecraft consists of a crew module where the astronauts stay and a service module that contains the support systems. The two modules combine to make up the orbital module which can provide life support to the crew for 7 days before they splash down in the ocean. This will be an impressive feat as 7 days in space is quite a long time for a simple capsule. To meet the 2022 deadline, ISRO has two unmanned test launches planned for December 2020 and July 2021 respectively. The two unmanned flights will help ensure that everything functions correctly, including the control environment in the module, safety and life support systems. Humanity space flight simply has to be a serious step up in complexity and thoroughness compared to unmanned missions as there is a lot more at stake. ISRO has also developed a female humanoid robot named Vyomitra. This humanoid robot will be a part of both the manned and unmanned missions of Gaganyaan. In January 2020, ISRO shortlisted four men who are going to be a part of the Gaganyaan mission. The four candidates have already begun their 12-month training at Gagarin Research and Test Cosmonaut Training Center, Russia. Humanity already has a lot of experience in low Earth orbit. So, this mission is less of a scientific one, rather more of a technology demonstration one. However, it is an important step for ISRO and its future independent missions, which will include Chandrayaan-3, ISRO's third mission to the moon, and Shukrayaan-1, ISRO's first attempt at a mission to Venus. ISRO even hopes to one day build its own space station. If India can make space travel safe and cheap, it can benefit the whole world going forward.